Quickly want to mention that even though our air quality is in the good range, a burn ban in Spokane Valley went, or Spokane County rather, went into effect at three o'clock this afternoon because weather conditions are very conducive to the buildup of smoke. One degree tonight, mostly clear skies, light winds. Tomorrow, a high temperature of 13 degrees. Sunshine, but that sunshine is deceptive. It is going to be a bitterly cold day. Light winds, that's the bonus. No precipitation out at the airport where right now it is 13 degrees and mostly cloudy. South winds at five miles per hour, cloudy and 14 right now in Coeur d'Alene with winds out of the west at 11. It is Wildlife Wednesday. Some amazing photos to share with you. Isn't this, if you can see, it looks like the beak on this eagle has got some ice on it. This is from photographer uh, Mark Vogt who says most of the eagles have moved on uh, now, but he was able to find just that one. Meanwhile, look at this big fella. Mark Cover found him in Spirit Lake. He was in pursuit of a couple of female moose, FYI. Finally, this is a very special little bird. Uh, this is a red flanked blue tail uh, that Terry Little spotted in Hell's Gate State Park. Now, these birds are mainly found in Siberia and Europe. They winter in Asia, can sometimes be found in Western Alaska. There have only been three reported in the United States, and people come from all over the country, birders, to see this little bird. Amazing. We have got some snow to our south that just doesn't seem to want to end. It has been fairly persistent, but light will finally be decreasing tonight. Here's our next 12 hours as cold, dry Arctic air <laughs> continues. I'll put my hand right there and you can see how slowly that is eroded by tomorrow morning, uh, seeing the last of that snow and then finally we'll be clearing off as the day goes on. It's all in association with a much larger system to our south. Meanwhile, here's a look at our jet stream forecast. I'm starting off at Sunday afternoon. I want to tell you about the warm air that's coming in. Sunday will still be under the influence of that northerly flow, but we're going to get an atmospheric river going early next week, tapping into some subtropical moisture, and that is going to bring rain warm weather, the potential of flooding, particularly in southeastern Washington, and uh, we're going to be melting a lot of snow. It's going to be a mess. Overnight lows tonight in the single digits and single digits below zero. Our highs tomorrow only in the teens, but with light winds, you know, we've seen colder this winter, that's for sure. A gradual warm up and then things not so gradual next week. Wow. Rain and warmer weather. My goodness, while we all are excited about the melt off. Well, uh, if we could just we're gonna do slow. it kind We're gonna... of all at once. <laughs> yeah, we do. Look <laughs> at how we do things, isn't it? Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs>